Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Well This Happened, the show that lets you be the career coach. This week we heard from Taylor. Taylor has a new commission-based sales job. He likes the work and is learning a lot. The company has a system in place that evenly distributes sales between everyone in the team. The system was working well up until recently when the store manager started stealing sales from other team members. This made it hard for everyone to make money and to gain sales experience. This has left Taylor in a tough spot because he's not earning much money when he works with this manager. Since Taylor is so new, he's not sure if he should report this to the general manager or to just take the skills he's learned and move on. This is a tough situation to be in since the person you're going to report is your direct superior. Earlier this week, we shared some possible ways that Taylor could address this situation. Let's see which answers aren't correct. Let's start with option B, which is to do nothing. She'll get what's coming to her eventually. If you sit back and do nothing, this behavior is most likely gonna continue. As a result, you'll lose out on sales and experience. That's a lose-lose situation for you. If you wanna grow and gain skills in this field, you need a chance to do the work. And of course, in order to continue working there, you're gonna have to make some type of income. If she's stealing your sales and opportunities to learn, you're not gonna help yourself by standing idly by. Next, we have option D, which is to start looking for a new job. It sounds like you're enjoying learning about sales, Taylor, but unfortunately, six months isn't enough time to become proficient at it. If you leave now, you might not have enough sales experience to land a job that you want. You have other options here, and this seems drastic, so try other avenues first before resorting to this. Then we have option A, which is to confront the manager in front of other colleagues so they can back you up. While you might think that you need to buck up and clear the air, this approach can seriously backfire. Since you're essentially calling her out on her unethical and unfair behavior, she's most likely gonna get defensive and even passive aggressive. As a result, she can make your life miserable while you're working for her. So that leaves us with the correct answer, which is option C, to anonymously mail a letter to the general manager detailing the shady business practices of your store manager. Emailing can leave a paper trail, so the smart thing to do here would be to write out and mail a physical letter. I would type out a letter detailing what's happening and mail it to the general manager and the HR department so they can investigate it. Since you work at a big enough store and she's targeting everyone, she won't know exactly who tipped them off. This way she'll also have to be more fair once it gets investigated. So there you have it. This does need to be addressed, but you don't want to be singled out for speaking up. We hope that helps, Taylor. So what would you have done if you were Taylor? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We post great content like this every single week. Are you stuck in a toxic work environment or feel like you need more guidance with your job search? Then you might want to check out our subscription. You can work with our team of coaches to help reach all of your career goals. You can learn more right up here or in the description below. If you enjoyed this episode of Well This Happened and want to watch more of them, you can click right over here. And if you want to watch one of our most popular videos of all time, you can click right over here. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next week on Well This Happened.